we'll tell you how netas in puducherry are using your tax money at a time when many middle class families are reeling under job loss and are struggling to make ends meet your tax money dear viewers is being absurdly splurged by the puducherry government on high end items they've they've spent at least 2.5 crore rupees worth tax money that is your tax money to buy iPhones and iPads and even luxury furniture for their MLAs all of their 33 MLAs have been given these luxury items the pandemic has hit the economy hard the income of the poorest have reduced by 50% those who were once earning 1.37 lakh per annum are now getting paid only 0.65 lakh per annum in times like these dear viewers Unfortunately this is what our netas are up to spending 2.5 crore rupees on things they perhaps already have So on the show this evening we have opened our phone lines where you can share your views on this absolute shameless and absurd splunging of your tax money I'm also joined on the broadcast by P Devanath president People's Pulse and anjali damane who's a civic activist they'll soon join me on the broadcast but for now these are the visuals that you can see on your screen absolute shameless and unnecessary spending worth 2.5 crore of the government exchequer on luxury iphones on luxury furniture for all 33 mlas in the government We'll soon get more details from our activists. We'll be joined by our activists, but let me remind our viewers on this broadcast this evening we have opened our phone lines. The phone lines are flashing on your screen. Pick up the phone and share your views. What do you have to say regarding this extravagant splurging on iPhones, iPad and furniture, things that these netas perhaps already have? activists have come out to speak against this propriety in politics in puducherry the government is not giving allocation to the mla local area development fund they announced 2 crore for each constituency but it is not given even the most of the roads are damaged flood affected area relief is not given but at the same time the government is purchasing for, for luxury cars for ministers and mlas near about 5 crores and they are purchasing the computers phones office material near about 3 crores so the government is spending for their own uh, members welfare mla's welfare but they are not spending the money for the uh, people of pondicherry the people are suffering but um, the government is not bothering about it even before pre covid we have seen that pondicherry was under severe uh, financial stress we even have seen there are several instances where the transport employees uh, uh, stopped the bus midway in protest over not paying the salary on time uh, yes even uh, even now uh, puducherry government is under severe uh, severe financial stress with that being in the question now what we are learning from a press release that was issued by the puducherry government itself that is 2.5 crore rupees a budget allocation was made and with that allocation and imac iphone a printer and all the essential stationeries and uh, furnitures that are needed for an mla office was given to all the mlas and uh, in this uh, function the chief minister he himself was present and he was giving all the high end gadgets uh, to the mla still there is no clarity uh, about uh, how uh this stationaries and uh, high end uh, uh, gadgets were given to them uh, whether it is given to their personal use or it is it, it will belong to the mla's officer there is no clarity 
I'm joined by Anjali Damane on the broadcast. Uh, she's a civic activist. Uh, Anjali Damane, thank you so much for, in fact, speaking to Mirror now. Uh, what is, you've, you know, uh, heard our correspondent, you've heard what the Congress has to say, you've also come across the entire story. Uh, what is the rationale behind these expenditures on ultra-luxury items? You know, shouldn't the focus be on using the same taxpayers' money on governance for uh, the public instead of appeasing MLAs? Precisely uh, my point. I mean, uh, I run an organization called Voice of Indian Taxpayers. We started this about three years back, and pr the basic aim of this organization was to stop the misuse or the splurge of money. Because people like us, we pay our taxes from our nose. We pay taxes for the country to do well. Uh, trust me, I don't buy even a nail without a bill. And why we do this is because we want our country to progress and, and do well. But what is happening to our money? I mean, it's disgusting to see guys like, um, uh, I mean, I just went through their budget. It's a 9,900 crore budget that that uh, particular uh, union territory has. And out of that, their G GSGP shows that there is 9,300 crore loan, which is nearly 22%. And when they have such a huge debt on their head, they have the audacity to splurge money like this. It's simply disgusting. I mean, why buy a iMac and iPhone and an iPad um, and the, I don't know what all? Even the cars that they have taken, both are like a Kia and a MG, which is like a very high-ended car. We do understand that they need, you know, vehicles for their transport. But at all times, it should be something which is reasonable. It cannot be something that is exorbitant. I mean, why the hell would we allow them to buy a car worth 38 lakhs? That's not done. An iMac, that's not on. Give them a good desktop. Let their office be completely tech savvy, but not an iPhone or an iMac and an iPad. That is not required because these are purely luxury items. And I don't think most of these MLAs, I am sorry to say I may be too negative, but uh, I don't think uh, any of these MLAs deserve that. Mr. Damania, so there you heard it. Let me also go across to uh, P. Devanathan, president of uh, People's Pulse. Uh, you know, uh, I'd like to know from you, the, since you are an activist uh, from uh, Puducherry, I would like to know what the issues are, the civic issues are in uh, Puducherry, perhaps the money that could have been used to improve the lifestyle, to improve for the betterment of uh, uh, the public. The similar funds are in fact now diverted towards, uh, you know, this absurd luxury splurge in the government. Uh, I'm not getting the video. Is my audio clear on the other side? Yes, yes, sir. We can hear you clearly. Okay. My, I'm not getting your video also. Okay. See, the bottom line is, uh, firstly, uh, the fact that iPhones and uh, iMacs have been given is uh, we wish that uh, these MLAs are being upgraded uh, to technology, but not to this level of technology. Uh, and uh, if they are going to use it properly to upgrade their uh, interactivity with the government uh, uh, missionary and the people, it's fine. But unfortunately, this has been there for quite a long time. And even the email ID is not being used and it is not in the public domain. So this will be deadly used by their uh, uh, sons or uh, grandchildren. Uh, going to the civic issues, Civic issues is a huge thing in Pondicherry, and whatever uh, money Pondicherry is getting, in fact, as you might have, you know, very well, uh, everything, they get uh, uh, loans, huge amount, just to pay the salaries of the public servants, leave alone the other uh, uh, requirements, basic requirements of the uh, city. So, uh, it's a, it's a, uh, there's no, there's no comparison as to what is really required. And it is only just to use the public money for their personal, uh, uh, personal, uh, what do you call, uh, luxury. And in fact, as you might know, they have got cars each uh, uh, costing around 40 lakh rupees. So it is completely not in uh, tune with the actual lifestyle of the Pondicherryan. Absolutely. So I wish... 
Yeah. Right, go ahead. You can complete your sentence. So I wish that uh, these, uh, now it has been given, okay. So now we, the activists, we are interested in making this, uh, the, the, the expenditure really meaningful by making it work. In fact, we are, in fact, just now I have written to the Assembly Secretary asking for their official contact numbers, all, the, all these guys. And secondly, nobody is available on the Twitter, nobody is available on the Facebook. So all this electronic uh, e-governance stuff, which has been there for around uh, 15 years, none of these things are being used here. In fact, the Assembly does not even have an official website. In fact, they have been uh, building the website for years together, and even now, as of today, it is not online. So we wish that uh, this uh, digital uh, thing is really being used. Of course, this is a huge expenditure, and uh, even in uh, uh, one third of the cost, you can get a, a, a Android uh, phone, and uh, one fourth of the cost, you can good uh, good desktop and uh, right. laptop computer. But have this again. I'm repeating this. Having been uh, done, we want to see that this is being used to the maximum capacity for the betterment of the standard of governance and the people. Right. So tax uh, money. You know, you wanted to. You want them to use the tax money for pure governance. In fact, oh, let me get in our caller. We have uh, Asha who's calling us uh, from Mumbai. Um, Asha, go ahead. What is it that you have to say? Yeah. First of all, my warm regards to. Sanvi and Faye, uh, you guys are doing a very good job. I'm very proud of you. I've been connected with you for a very long time. Let me speak now. Uh, if you look at your property tax, you will find that uh, you're just paying 2,000 uh, property tax, and the rest you're paying the central government for cleaning, the, cleaning India, for education, for whatever. And now uh, the BJP has taken over all the uh, MLAs, uh, MPs, uh, from the Congress, and they are now buttering them up by giving them ex extras uh, over here. If you look at what uh, money an MP or, a, or an MLA gets for his uh, constituency, you will find that he's getting a few lakhs of rupees. But people like uh, uh, Simriti goes to uh, Amethi, and she's getting 16 crores to spend on one village. And then you say that the opposition is not uh, paying attention. Let us now face it. Uh, Pondicherry is a beautiful place. This is not the way to treat it. I think there should be a citizen's uh, committee that controls what money is being spent and by, and by which government. Shame on BJP. This double engine is opening all the coffers to give it to all, only their states. It doesn't get anything. I wish all the best to the opposition. Right, um, Asha. Thank you so much for joining us and sharing your views. Uh, let me take this point across to Anjali Damania. Uh, Asha did make a very valid point where she said, uh, you know, uh, while the government functionaries are, you know, they are entitled to benefits, it's also a question of propriety. You know, they are fine, they are en entitled for benefits and certain schemes and add-ons by the government, but does that give the right for those in power to spend tax money on luxury goods? Precisely. So the point is, uh, if they are entitled to such goods, so are we entitled to good governance. Where is the good governance? We, we have been seeing that time and again, most of these political parties, as she rightly put across, that uh, they are trying to butter up the Congress uh, MLAs. This is what is done time and again. M public money, my taxpayers' money, is utilized for these kind of activities, it pains us. It really pains us. Why should I pay tax if my money is going to be utilized like this? If it is going to be thrown, plunged, why would I pay my tax? And, the, you know, it is high time we should demand accountability from them because they should be using all this money judiciously. It at the moment, I feel that we have to demand that this entire thing be given back. They should be given mobile phones. They should be given desktop. But whatever is only required. I mean, I was shocked to hear, though, because I'm not from Puducherry, I was shocked to hear that they don't even have their websites. Their emails are not functional. And I, uh, with this kind of a system, if they want iPhones and iPads and the I, 
IMAX that's really really shocking and disgusting. Right, uh, Mr. Mania. In fact, let me get in uh, another caller, uh, Dr. Rajiv from uh, Bengaluru. Dr. Rajiv, go ahead. What are your views? Dr. Rajiv, uh, is my voice uh, coming across? Okay, we'll try and reconnect uh, with our caller from Bengaluru there. But let me go across to uh, Mr. Devanathan. Uh, you know, so as uh, the mania was pointing out, you know, you know, the government barely even, they have uh, uh, functional email IDs. And it's, you know, it's really absurd, absurd and ironic to have gadgets and luxury gadgets when something as basic as email IDs that you would perhaps use on the very same gadgets, they are not functional. Uh, 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 of late, I've been... Uh taking up with the government uh, an instant wherein a park has been converted, being uh, built uh, uh, as an office for an MLA. But the, uh, the rules does not permit an MLA to have an exclusive office. He has been provided a rent allowance to have an office in his house with furnitures, but they are uh, spending huge amount of money to build uh, offices for the MLAs in public parks. In fact, there is no permission also. In fact, I have highlighted it up to the chief secretary. But uh, things have uh, not been stopped and we are still fighting uh, to get back that land for the park. So what the bottom line is, most of things which are being given is uh, out of the way, which they are not entitled as per the rules and laws, but it's being given. Right. Uh, you know, let me uh, bring in our caller, Dr. Rajiv. Uh, we managed to reconnect. Uh, uh, Dr. Rajiv, so you go ahead. What, what do you have to say about this? Yeah. What I want to say is there was a time in India when the politicians, bureaucrats and public servants were paid very poorly. At that point in time, uh, it was understandable why corruption was high. But today, politicians, bureaucrats and public servants government servants are paid extremely well. So why is there still corruption in India? And if uh, unless corruption reduces, I don't think there should be any further increases in the pay commission, uh, because I think increases in the pay commission must be linked to a reduction in corruption. Because today, bureaucrats, politicians, and government servants are paid extremely well. Uh, Dr. Rajiv, thank you so much for joining us and sharing your views. In fact, we have another caller, Anil Sood from uh, Delhi. Over to you, Anil. What do you have to say? All the public servants, whether bureaucrats or MLAs or politicians, they have become now public liability. Unfortunate part, the taxpayers' hard-earned money squandered by them under the garb of uh, facilitating they don't answer even a phone call. They don't deserve all this. Let them pay from their personal pocket. It's not taxpayers' money which they can squander. Right, uh, Mr. Su, thank you so much. In fact, uh, you know, we have a lot of callers this evening. So if you want to share your views, you can uh, reach out to us. Uh, remember, this is, uh, as the activists were pointing out, some really, you know, an absurd splurge amid COVID, amid financial crisis, where your tax money, dear viewers, where the middle class are struggling to meet, uh, to make ends meet at a time like this. 2.5 crore worth money is being splurged on luxury goods. Let me get uh, another caller. We have Nagami, Nagamani from Mysuru. Over to you, Nagamani. What do you want to say? Yeah, yeah. I'm saying that only we are paying tax for a good purpose from any government. I, I'm not saying any ka, ka, um, particular party, but what I'm saying any anything we are paying with our hard work uh, money tax we are paying so why these fellows getting all these uh, unnecessary facilities facilities hello Right, uh, Nagamani, that's right. We got your point. Thank you so much for joining us this evening and making your point. On that note, I'm afraid we'll have to wrap up. But, uh, you know, a big thank you once again to our panelists, uh, uh, Mr. Devanath and Devanathan and Anjali Damania. Thank you so much for speaking to Mirror Now.